hours later. Another rally, this time outside the Israeli embassy in northwest Washington. News 4's Walter Morris explains why people came from as far away as New England to be heard here. Passionate protests Wednesday evening. More than a thousand people gathering in front of the Israeli embassy in northwest D.C., making their voices heard. With a clear message. It's been a very traumatizing and very outrageous week, to be frank. So all we needed was to channel the community's energy. There's a lot of anger. Yassin Shami with the Palestinian Youth Movement says he felt compelled to help organize this rally with one goal in mind. An immediate and unconditional end to the genocide in Gaza, simply put. Now, what that means is lifting the siege unconditionally, allowing aid to enter, essential humanitarian aid, food, water, electricity, fuel, medicine, things that people need to live. The demonstration starting at 6 p.m. with a heavy law enforcement presence. D.C. police blocking off a long stretch of Van S. as the crowd grew slowly. And their collective voice grew louder. Emotions running high, and for many, the protest deeply personal. I am Palestinian, oh, yes. And I have friends and colleagues and, and uh, relatives that live in both in the West Bank and in Gaza. There are war crimes that are happening, and nobody's doing anything, nobody's saying anything. I came from Vermont. Crystal Zavon with Code Pink flying in to show her support for the people of Palestine. I mean, where is our humanity? Where is our humanity? These aren't animals, these are people. This rally coming hours after thousands demonstrated at the Capitol calling for a ceasefire. Hundreds arrested there and not long after, the Anti-Defamation League releasing a statement saying the responsibility for this war is on Hamas. Hamas' goal has never been a two-state solution or freedom for the Palestinian people. Hamas aims to destroy the Jewish state and murder all Jews. We did reach out to the embassy for comment, but they didn't get back to us by the time this rally wrapped up. D.C. police reopening this street just after 9 p.m. In Northwest, Walter Morris, News 4. You can be sure we'll be monitoring the situation here and on the ground in Israel overnight. And we'll bring you the latest developments when you wake up. News 4 today starts at 4 a.m. And when we're not on the air, you can get updates 24-7 on our website and in the NBC Washington app.